I don't know how many times I've been editing, only to find that my storage space is full or almost full, and when I look back on my other libraries, there's sometimes hundreds of gigabytes or even terabytes in size. So I wanted to shed some light on something that has not only shrunk my Final Cut libraries and saved me space with a click of a button, but also has saved me time. And I know it can do the same for you as well. This is Final Cut Library Manager by Arctic Whiteness, and this is not a sponsor video by any means. I just genuinely know you guys will find this useful, plus it is only 37 bucks, which is not crazy expensive, and I think $37 is more than worth it. So watch this real quick. Couple clicks. And that is over one terabyte of space I can save across three separate libraries just with the click of a few buttons. So let me take a step back and show you the app because it can do a lot more as well. I know this looks confusing, but it's actually simple once you learn the layout. Over here are all these storage devices you've ever connected. Easy to see and in one location. Even if they're not connected, they'll show up. So my main 8 terabyte hard drive, which holds the majority of my libraries, broke. So that's why the majority of the libraries here are showing as disconnected. Sad day, I know. Nevertheless, I can still show you how everything works. This area shows all of your libraries, once again, even if they're not connected. Over here is where you can instantly save storage across multiple libraries on multiple hard drives at the same time. You can quickly glance over here to see the size of your libraries. The biggest ones are at the top. Next to the size, we have this colored bar that tells us exactly what our library is filled with. So for example, this library is filled with mostly render files, some proxy media, some optimized media, and it even shows us how much media is optical flow, which is kind of neat. Right here, it shows how much storage I can save off of this library. And if I do delete them, all of them we can easily get back later. It's not like you're permanently deleting something off the library that's irreversible. We can see that we can save over a terabyte of space just on this one library. So it's as easy as this. I will click what I want clean. So let's say I'm using this library, but I don't really need any optimized media because I'll just use proxy if the frames are stuttering on playback. And for render media, I can just render when I export. So I will select these options here. And let's say these are old libraries that are taking up space. I'll select everything I can to get the most space from them. And actually to make it even faster, I could have selected the hard drive that these libraries are on and selected the render column and the optimized column. You'll press this button and click delete completely. And I have quickly deleted over one terabyte of space across three separate libraries without even opening Final Cut. Now, if you are currently using a project in a library, but you have other projects on it and you could save space from those, you can be more specific about what you delete by clicking this arrow and deleting project files from those events that the other projects are in. Aside from saving storage space, there is a lot more this app can do. You can make notes on libraries as a whole, as well as events. You're able to see what you've exported from different libraries. You can duplicate, move, and delete libraries. And we can also do something which is super handy. Say you're thinking back on an old project that has a clip you need. Find that library, go to the event you want, and you can see all the clips used. It lets you either view that original clip, or you can have it open the clip in a new finder window. Then you can drag that clip into your current project as new media if you want. The whole app just helps you to stay organized and tidy, which I have found just helps me to work a lot more efficiently. I think everyone probably wants that. Like I said, it's one of the best investments I've made for Final Cut, and I figured I would share it with those who are also annoyed by huge library sizes, overfilled hard drives, and just general clutter from Final Cut files. 37 bucks to pull less hair is hands down worth it. Now there is a way that you can manually delete, render, optimize, and proxy media files in your libraries. However, it doesn't allow you to delete optical flow but the process of doing this is a lot more time consuming, especially if you have to open multiple libraries. And when I'm editing and I realize that my storage space is dwindling, I just want to press a few buttons to make space and get back to work. If this sounds like something that could help you now or in the future, I will put the link to this app in the description and in the comments. As always guys, thank you for your support. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. I hope you guys have a great day.